Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Laura and this is Laura's Little Library. So in today's video, I'm going to just kind of briefly go over some of the best books, some of my favorite books every week that I've been reading uh, for the past month and a half, as well as some of the worst books. So if you're new to the channel, I have been doing this spooky themed reading extravaganza since the middle of September and each week has been a different theme and I've been vlogging it all and so you can go back and watch all those vlogs. I am about to start my last week of witches so those books will not be included as I have not yet read them, but all the way up until that point I have read all of these books and I am going to just go through some of my favorites and some of my not so favorites. So the very first week that I read was horror slash thriller and this is a fairly new genre for me and I couldn't choose specifically a favorite. I loved both of these, House of, House of Hollow and Mexican Gothic. I loved them both. They are both very unique and interesting. And so I couldn't really choose one over the other. Maybe House of Hollow slightly a little bit more, but I think both of them definitely earned the title of being my favorite for that week. And yeah, I mean, I didn't have any least favorites. And the next week was Dark Academia, and my favorite was by far A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. I loved everything about this from the unique uh, main character as well as the amazing setting and I just went through this so quickly and I really want the second book now because I loved this one so much. I didn't, again, I didn't really have a least favorite for this week. I think my lowest rated of the week was Ace of Spades, but it definitely does not, it's still 4.5 stars. So Dark Academia was a good week for me. Um, so there, again, I don't really have one to say this was a least favorite. Then after that was Werewolf Week, and my favorite that I read was Red Wolf, and this is a Little Red Riding Hood retelling where Little Red Riding Hood is the werewolf, and she actually protects her village, and they don't know that she protects her village. Um, but this one I absolutely loved, both as a retelling and just as a story. It had such great spooky vibes, but also fall vibes and kind of winter vibes all the vibes were there for this book so this was definitely a favorite but this week did have a least favorite i actually dnf'd hound of god i could not get past 60 pages i was really disliking everything about the book there was nothing good that i liked so i dnf'd it and this is my least favorite of the shapeshifter week and after that was Ghost Week, and again, I have two favorites for this one because they're both favorites for different reasons, but I couldn't choose between one or the other, so I loved City of Ghosts, I loved this one, and kind of the world building that they did, and the setting in Edinburgh was phenomenal, and it just was such great, like, cold, creepy ghost vibes, whereas the Ghost in Apartment 2 are... I loved because of its cultural significance how so many different cultures and mythologies and ideas were presented in this book and it was just culturally pretty diverse um, and so I really appreciated that especially in a middle grade so these were my two favorites and my least favorite again this book was not a bad book it was just the lowest rated and that was the summoning and this is the first in a trilogy, so I do plan to continue the trilogy. Um, but yeah, it wasn't a bad book. I think it's just a little old, and I had different expectations going into it. And lastly, the last book, or the last week that I did was Vampire Week, was Bloodsuckers Week. And my favorite, by far, was Fangs. This adorable little comic, it is the relationship between a vampire and a werewolf, and I will not ever stop talking about this book because I loved it so much. It was adorable. It was amazing. I wish there was more, but I also loved everything that we got of it. 
so oh just so cute and I love the art and mm, it's perfect and then my least favorite for vampire week was the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires I still liked this book again this was still a decently strong book I just had a lot of issues with pacing and information that was unnecessary or just stalling um but again still a solid book so yeah those are all the tops and bottoms so far of the uh reading extravaganza i know this video was kind of short and sweet but i just kind of wanted to give you an update of some of the books that i would recommend for spooky season especially as halloween is drawing closer i would hope that everyone is reading a somewhat spooky book that they love or hope to love so uh, here were some recommendations for it and maybe some ones to help you choose other books <laughs> um, but thank you all so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below what you plan to be reading this spooky season I would love to know what you're gonna read on and around Halloween subscribe if you haven't I make new videos every Thursday and I'm also posting bonus videos like this one on Tuesdays and that might be something I carry through to November so comment down below if you're interested in getting two videos a week from me also I recently hit 100 subscribers and so I am currently gathering questions from you guys to celebrate with a little Q&A video so if you have any questions for me put them down below and maybe I will include them thank you all so much for watching and until I see you in the next video I wish you happy spooky reading